Hi there. Today we'll be looking at the mechanism for chymotrypsin. So what is chymotrypsin? Chymotrypsin is a digestive enzyme which breaks down polypeptides. It consists of a catalytic triad of amino acids, serine, histidine, and aspartate. This is the generic structure of a polypeptide. As you can see, this is the peptide bond right here. And what chymotrypsin does is that it cleaves the peptide bond to form the products this and this. So this is the chymotrypsin enzyme, the catalytic triad, serine, histidine, and aspartate. So what happens is that when a polypeptide comes near a chymotrypsin enzyme, um, the one of the lone pairs on the oxygen of the serine attacks the carbonyl group right here and the electrons on the double bond shift to the oxygen and the oxygen then has a negative one formal charge as you can see here as a negative one formal charge the other oxygen down here has a positive one formal charge and it wants to have a zero formal charge. So what happens is that the lone pair on this nitrogen abstracts this hydrogen and then these two electrons in this bond get shifted onto this oxygen and then the oxygen will have a zero formal charge as you can see right here. Then what happens is that one of the lone pairs on this oxygen comes down to form a double bond and in this case now carbon has five bonds which is not allowed carbon can only have four bonds at any given time so what happens is this bond breaks and these two electrons abstract this hydrogen right here and these two electrons of this bond get shifted onto this nitrogen and nitrogen will thus have a, a zero formal charge and the product is one of the first product is formed which is NH2 and the rest of the protein this is the first product Next, what happens is that a water molecule comes in. One of the lone pairs on the oxygen of the water molecule attacks this carbonyl group and the electrons in this double bond get shifted onto the oxygen. And this oxygen would then have a negative one formal charge, as you can see right here. And thus oxygen has a negative one formal charge and then this oxygen right here has a positive one formal charge it wants to have a zero formal charge so what happens is the lone pair electron on this nitrogen abstracts this hydrogen and the two electrons in this bond get shifted onto this oxygen giving this oxygen a zero formal charge as you can see right here this oxygen has a zero formal charge this then what happens is that one of the lone pairs of electrons on this oxygen come down to make a double bond and again carbon cannot have more than four bonds at any given time so what happens is this bond breaks and these two electrons in this bond abstract this hydrogen and and the electrons in this bond get shifted onto this nitrogen and this nitrogen will then have a neutral uh, zero formal charge and at the end of that the second product is formed so this is the second product and we can see that the catalytic triad is restored for any uh, incoming polypeptides that may come and this is a summary of the chymotrypsin mechanism. This is a very great summary to look at. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, and good luck. Thank you.